All right, good evening, everybody. Welcome to another fun episode of Bracket Up. Today, we're doing something a little bit different for you. We're experimenting with sports things. Sports are fun. <laughs> the NHL season has, has just started. Only a handful of games have been played, and we decided with a couple members of our, our podcast being big hockey fans and other members of our podcast knowing minimal about hockey, we should combine the two and predict teams that are going to make the playoffs and the players who are going to win awards and whatnot. We have come up with a point system as well. So if you pick a team and uh, that team makes it to the playoffs, you get a point. If they move on, they get a point. If they win the Stanley Cup finals, they get three points, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, we've got a, a little snake style fantasy draft that we're going to be doing for you in a minute where we go in order and choose our teams and then work our way up and down the list to make sure it's fair for everybody. And uh, we'll probably be checking in, you know, monthly every five weeks or so for a short little update podcast to see who's doing real well, who made some good picks, who made some bad picks. And uh, this will be a fun little thing to do, I think, for the next, uh, for winter and spring this year. It should be a good time. Uh, I will go ahead and introduce everybody, of course. Next to me, as usual, is the, the man with the best name in the whole wide world. He's the only one wearing a hockey memorabilia right now. Uh, Andy Mysuck, you've got that Patrick, uh, what's his name, Lane? Line, yeah, Line, I'm an American. Line A. Yeah. Uh, Line a. Uh, this traded. is being recorded the day after he was traded to Columbus. Uh, and I have his Winnipeg jersey. Uh, also, I'm I'm the bracket up hockey fan, so I have an advantage, which I'm going to balk on. It's gonna be awful. All I right. I come with no preparation. Also, uh, should I read the point system out since I have it written down? Yeah, yeah I would say so. All right. So Stanley Cup is three points. Winning round two and three is two points. Making the playoffs and winning round one is one point. Winning the President's Trophy for most uh, a team with the most points in the season is two points. Winning your division, which there are four divisions this year, is one point. Um, the Heart, which is the MVP voted by the media. Ted Lindsay, MVP voted by the players. Norris, best defenseman, Calder, best rookie, Vesna, best goalie. Those five awards are worth two points. All other goofy awards like best GM, most gentlemanly player, blah, 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 who cares? Those are all worth one. We have one kind of prop one with, uh, I believe it is player with the most penalty minutes. I was going to go with team. But team with the most one. penalty minutes. Yeah, either uh, one. Uh, we'll do both, player and team sure. with the po most penalty minutes. I hope uh, it's one point. one wins because of that distinction. <laughs> it's they're one by point one each. Point. They're one well, point. That, you, never, you could win by one point. Hey, that would be hilarious. Prop bets are fun. Uh, we should have more prop bets, <laughs> but we don't. Uh, other than that, the only other rule is, well, I guess we originally were going to have five people, but, and the rule was you had to pick one team from each division. I think we're kind of forced into that now, but yes, uh, you have to have at least one team from every division uh, and we are going to each have seven. So they're going to be three teams that don't get picked. It'll be a cold day in hell before I pick a Canadian team. Well, you got to pick one because there's a whole division. That's all. Canada. I know. <laughs> I know. It's the Bill Scotia will... North, baby. <laughs> at least you only have to pick one if he wants to. <laughs> Well, so speaking of that, it's a uh, Billy Billy White Shoes Johnson. How how are you today, Bill? I'm doing I'm doing good. Um, sun is not shining. It's pretty cold, but reminds me of hockey. I'm not really a big hockey fan. Um, and this was your idea. It was my idea. Well, I was originally thinking like, oh, this would be really fun to do like for basketball, and then I realized I am the only person on Break It Up that probably likes basketball at all. I Jared might like it a little bit. I do I do shot. but it's too far in the season at least hockey just kind of started uh maybe next year if this goes well hey if this goes well we'll do it for all the major Even sports if it doesn't go well we can do it we'll combine all the major sports next time awesome uh and next to bill uh back for his uh, second appearance after the nuggy episode bum, bum, bum. it's tony galski how are you tony good how is everybody else doing Wonderful. Well. Tony, I just answered good. that. I said I was good. 
You're a big All right, fan we're too. coming out hot already. Jesus. I'm, <laughs> I'm a spicy little boy. Today. <laughs> welcome, welcome to Break It Up. This is Bill. <laughs> welcome to Bill the Podcast, and it's starring Bill. Uh, Bill what was your last appearance, by the way? <laughs> I was very briefly on the dad joke episode. Oh yeah, that was. You guys might have cut me out of it because I was only there for like three rounds. Three. No, no, no. we're keeping three. you. Uh, we we came up with a Bill persona in that episode, as well as various oh. other abusive and unab- non-abusive dads. It was a good time. What yeah. category did I fall in? <laughs> abusive or non-abusive? Uh, you were your own category of just like a, a dad that likes really bad jokes. <laughs> oh yeah so a dad Uh, also that episode comes out after this i'm putting this one up pretty immediately only because yeah hockey season's going quick well yeah that's a good point i got some dadception going here (laughs) all right so before we get started uh we real quick did a little uh randomizer for the draft order and it was determined that i handy dandy andy would go first and then tony and then andy my second then bill and then round two would be, you know, backwards, Bill, Andy, Tony, and myself. So Bill gets four or five, Andy gets uh, seven and whatever the fuck, three and six, it's Tony gets seven and two, I get eight and one. And we just repeat that and so it's nice and fair. Snaking Snake all around. Draft. Uh, any other housekeeping uh-huh. issues before we start uh, talking puck? Uh, no, I think we're good. I, th- I think Tony and I, when people make picks, will throw out our, our hockey knowledge since we're the the bigger hockey fans yeah i'm sure jared has a lot to say i know he was watching the game today i watched the first two periods and then i fucked off to do fun things he he was texting me as we were preparing to get a peloton yes (laughs) oh yeah we went and got a peloton today yeah aren't you just joe biden Uh, (laughs) yeah no i'm a fat guy who needs an excuse to work out at this point is that the bike that like whispers sweet nothings into your ear as you ride it uh yeah I need that. Okay. <laughs> nice, Me too. warm, vibrating seat, too. I'm mm. super excited. Yeah. It's like, do you like the way that feels, Andrew? <laughs> yes, thank you. A little, a little warmer, please. <laughs> All right. Um, we don't have a time clock or anything, so we'll, we're going to be uh, running pretty fast and loose with the rules here, but I doubt anyone's going to be taking five minutes to make a, a pick. Um, I'll go first. Tampa Bay. <laughs> Wow, shocking choice. Uh, oh, big shot. There goes out. my strategy. <laughs> um, do, do we need to talk about Tampa Bay at all? Stanley Cup champion. <laughs> they are without They're pretty good. They are without the player, though. MVP is a big point getter. Without Kucherov, I don't see an MVP winner on Tampa Bay, at least. Now, how long is Kucherov out for? Until the playoffs. Suck me good. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look, you got a good chance to go in deep. <clears throat> Probably they'll easily make the playoffs. Right. But he your arch enemy, the Columbus Blue Jackets, they may have exercised that demon last year, but it took a five overtime game to do it. That could be yeah. a first round matchup again. They're in the same division. Okay. <laughs> that's all I got. <laughs> I mean, that's for... all I got for Tampa Bay. They're my that. second favorite team, fun fact. <laughs> awesome sauce. What's your first favorite team? Uh uh Ottawa. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Tim Stutzel, baby. What'd you call me? <laughs> Tim Stutzel. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, next up is Tony. Tony, uh, the floor is yours. I'll start All typing right. who I know it's going to be. <laughs> yeah, you're right. It's Vegas. Um, <laughs> is it Vegas? Um, yeah, for sure. Uh, oh. They have a couple of. Uh, they have pretty much a solid team all the way around and i think they have some cap space to add to it so uh i'm looking forward to see if they can do this year for sure i mean they are killing it leonard goalie mark andre flurry backup that's probably the best tandem in the league no they can flip flurry (laughs) for somebody else at the deadline too for for peanuts because he's making seven mil for three years (laughs) that's true I don't know. Uh, I'm shocked you didn't go Colorado. I'm wondering if you're just scared because of their start. Did you yeah, let Colorado I, fall into my lap? Probably, but, you know, it's okay. I mean, you have to pick them. I do. If, I mean, If you pick them. Uh, yeah. Is it my turn? Yeah, Yeah. go for it. Oh, Colorado. Yeah. 
They've got they've got a Norris contender on their team in uh sorry, I'm like in uh Makar. They got obviously the guy who's got the best chance to win the MVP, not named McDavid and McKinnon. Uh they've got the best offense. I mean, I I can't believe you let him drop to me. So they had a weak start. Not worried about it. Yeah, they'll probably they're the, bounce. Huh? They're the best team in the league. Ooh, That's what shit. I say. All right. All right, well, moving on to Bill. Bill, you've got two picks here. So. Uh, my first pick is easy. Uh, yeah. It's going to be the Maple Leafs. Makes sense. Uh, they're they're hot but, right now, too. But my next pick, it's harder because my next my the pick after that's so far away um hmm. go with the east has not even been touched yet mm-hmm. but i think uh, i'm going to spend some more time up in canada and pick the oilers oh wow i'm uh, uh, did you say okay the- <laughs> okay <laughs> oh so, uh team that might miss but he's got the two best players in the world i'd argue well and remember, yeah. those awards count for points. Yep. Yeah, but I've also got McKinnon. So I, I like my odds there. A playoff team. But you got McDavid and Dreisaitl, so that's fun. Maple Leafs, you got Austin Matthews. I'm just – I'm, I'm a spicy boy. I got to make some spicy choices. He left the best team in the North on the board. Uh yeah, but this is the guy who didn't even want Canadian teams at all. And he went double up on Canada. <laughs> I was gonna, I was gonna fool around in the East after he said he was picking a second Canadian team, thinking he'd take Montreal. See, I think the Maple Leafs are a better team, but I could be wrong because I don't know anything uh, about hockey. On, on paper, Maple Leafs are a better team. On paper, they should win the division. Right, that's my hope. Uh Andy, it's it's back to you, and let's not forget that we all have to have at least one team in each of the four divisions as well. Uh, Tony, True. quick question. Is Nick Suzuki still considered a rookie? Don't do it, Tony. He's I'll just enemy. Google it and waste all of your time. So if you know that answer. I, I don't know. Did he play a full season last year? Should have last season was weird, though, because they didn't play a full 82. But yeah, but I, he'd still have to play at least half. So yeah, hold on, because that, I mean, that would be huge. He'd win Rookie of the Year, I think. Well, you're oh, Googling he that. played 71. Oh, wow, that was really quick. Never mind. Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, so he... <laughs> Thought that would take longer. No, I'm quick. Uh, He's not... <laughs> yeah. Montreal doesn't yeah, have a are. lot of award-winning capabilities there. But if they get in, Carey Price could steal a round. I'm going to go with a team I didn't even pick to make the playoffs in Montreal. Son of a bitch. So I, the, the, the way Nick Suzuki is playing right now is incredible. I think they've got one of the better top six out there. And Carey Price is Carey Price. Yep. I mean, that, that alone, if they get in, they could do damage and they are playing incredible. The team I thought would be one of the shocks of the North got absolutely manhandled by Montreal last game. And that's Vancouver, by the way. I thought Vancouver would be a shocking team, do well, but not doing so hot right now. No, they are not. All right, moving to Mr. Tony. What do you got for us? Watch him pick the Flyers, even though he's such a Flyer hater. I mean, negative two goal differential right now. What's up? Um, They have a negative two goal differential. Um, They do. The you know I'm. This is starting to get tough right off right off the bat here. Uh, Yeah, because all the real good teams are off the board. Yeah, all those those two Canadians are gone. You know, the East, though, we've already talked about is one of the deeper divisions, and no one is picked from the East. Well, yeah, gonna... if it's deeper, it's going to be harder to – it's more competitive, so you don't know exactly who's going to come out on top. It's a yeah. little riskier. Ah, oh, touche. Yeah, I'm going to go with uh, – in the East, I'm going to go with uh, – we'll go with Boston. Um, oh, bad pick. I, bad. I, I actually don't like that pick at all. <laughs> I'm not a uh, fan they of got Boston. rid of Chara. 
They're not even going to make the playoffs. <laughs> no, they'll make the playoffs, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> they'll make the playoffs. No. I, nope, I, without reason, Chara, forget Here's my it. thought process with picking Boston is that they do have a couple guys who could win sure. some awards and Priest Bergeron and um, he, he could win a, the award for um, Salgi, the best defensive forward. But uh, I mean, that's a safe bet, but you also got uh, Pasternak who won the Richard God yeah. recently. Yeah, and <clears throat> I the, I was going to try I was my thought process of not picking Washington was Ovechkin violated COVID okay. rules. So he's out for four games. So losing four games and what if he gets hurt for an extended period of time? Like that's a guy who would probably win the uh, uh, most goals, but uh, with him missing four games, that's not, he's probably not going to win that this year. You also, Ovechkin? who did that? Ovechkin, yeah. their, their starting goalie, Kuznetsov and uh, Orlov, one of their better defensemen. <laughs> Wow. Okay, then. <laughs> so all they were doing was sitting inside a hotel room, but they, it wasn't they, like they were. They it wasn't like they're the. They tell you not to do it. You don't I know. do it. I know, but it wasn't like they're the Miami Marlins and they went to a, a club. <laughs> or I mean, it's, it's not like was... there were James Harden and went to strip clubs until they were traded to one of the best in the East. But yeah, <laughs> that's basketball. It's different. And, and Tampa Bay acquires Alexander Ovechkin for peanuts. Yeah. And that's when Jarek wins all the awards. <laughs> all right. So it moves back to me. I get two picks here. Um, so the extent of my hockey knowledge has really uh, already been exhausted uh, with my first pick and hearing uh, you guys talk about some of the heavy hitters. So I'm going to be picking fairly blind uh, from for the rest of this. Love it. Um, I'm, I, you know what? I'll be, I'll be the guy who goes with the Flyers. Hey, uh, I'm trying. I'm trying to space out my, good pick. my picks for the division, so I don't get stuck having a pick in one near the end when I don't want to. The Flyers don't have a lot of like big award names, right? But they're. I mean, you got Claude Giroux. He could. He could uh, do some damage. Carter Hart. Carter Hart could win a Vesna. Couturier could win a Selkie. So I you've mean, got, the you've got Flyers are. At least probably the favorites to win the East, right? That's my pick to win the East. I think the favorites would probably be Washington or okay. maybe Boston, although I don't like Boston's offseason, so I wouldn't say that, but the I top like the two teams are Washington, Boston, and Flyers. Yeah, but I, I think... Did you I say think... the top two teams and then list three teams? No, he said the top three. He said three. Oh, oh I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It oh. was a gotcha moment. All right. And then uh, pick number two, I will go with the St. Louis Blues. I mean, oh. that's not a Ooh. bad pick at all. That was a good pick. I didn't even. Yeah, Ooh, that's a good. Yeah, because the West, there's like no good teams left in the West now. Is really... I mean, the Central is such a dog shit division. <laughs> so. Minnesota, I don't see yeah. I don't see anyone picking much in the, the central anymore. Maybe Dallas, maybe well, that Carolina. Was... The Blues are in the West Division. Yeah. Oh, I'm ta- I'm sorry. I'm thinking of the Central. Central is a dog shit division. Uh, the West is yeah. also kind of dog shit. <laughs> All right, moving back to Tony. What do you got for us? You know what? Um, based on their first, I'm going with the Dallas Stars. Okay. Um, like like Andy said, my thought process with that is not a lot of guys who are going to win awards, but with the Central being a, I think Dallas is good enough to be a two or three seed. So they'll avoid Tampa Bay in the first round. So I'm just hoping that they may A, make the playoffs and B, uh, get out of the first round. Tony's picking all the teams I shat on in our in our podcast, so he knows I don't like two of his three picks. <laughs> I got a question for you guys. Dallas has only played one game this season, correct? Yep, they yes. got a COVID outbreak. Seventeen okay. players. Now, they, are they going to be able to make up any games? All of them. All of them? Yeah. Wow. Okay. They only missed four, um, I think. Right. So. 
Uh, and I just yeah. saw that they only have one in every yeah. other team's like seven or six yeah. or something. Okay. Uh, so I feel like the random <clears throat> cocky's already a pretty not random. A lot of parody. I mean, it's pretty random sport. Yeah, there's a lot of parody. Yeah. I wonder if that's even going to be more this year because of COVID. Like, if unex- more unexpected things are going to happen as far as teams. I think middle sneaking into the playoffs goes. You think I, it'll be middle of the pack? You don't sure. think it'll be like super strange? Uh, no, I don't think you'll see Tampa falling off. Uh, I, I yeah. think your East is pretty much three teams are pretty set. Uh, the the North is the most confusing to me because I thought all the teams but one were actually pretty decent, and then the West. I mean, I think their top three teams are pretty set as well. Um, okay, and they're all gone. Fuck. <laughs> uh, so here's what I gotta say about Dallas for Tony is I hate their goaltending. I don't think Hugh Dobin is a great goaltender to run with. They don't have Bishop. They don't have Tyler Sagan. Uh, they're older. They lost some of their depth players. I don't know. They don't really have any like young, uh, young guys that like have that like name that carries them outside of Miro Heiskanen. I I don't like Dallas. I don't like Dallas at all. I like the color of their uniforms. Speaking of teams I don't like, I'm going to pick the Islanders. (laughs) Uh Oh, Uh, I hate the Islanders. I hate them a lot. Uh, I think they're boring and shitty, but they have a coach who's could win coach of the year. Uh, they could win the Jennings for least goals allowed award because they're a defensive minded system. And uh, they're go- they've gone deep in the playoffs recently. Uh, so I'm banking on that. I, I hate the Islanders. I actively root against the Islanders. Um, I picked them not to make the playoffs in uh, mine and Tony's podcast. I don't like them, but I'm going to go with them. Hey, you got to do what you um, got to do. Well, you know, then, I just want to point out the Islanders are currently losing two to nothing to, to the New Jersey Devils. Um, and uh, the Dallas Stars, Dallas Stars are winning two nothing over the Nashville Predators. So, yeah, you see how no one and hit the Nashville Obviously, Predators? that's going to continue this whole season. <laughs> yep. uh, that was the first pick that was really unexpected to me. I had them pretty low on my list, but again, Conference Not a big hockey guy. Year. Yeah. All right, Bill. You um, beat the Flyers pretty handily. I got two picks. You got two, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, I definitely have to split it between two divisions. So I'm going to go with the Hurricanes. Okay. Carolina Hurricanes. Wow. And then do I want to go to the East or the West? You better get in the go. West. <laughs> That's my... Uh... <laughs> Yeah, if you got seven picks before you come back, that's going to be an issue. <laughs> yeah, the West could be gone, but I'm uh, going to go with my boy Chara and the Capitals. Well, that is not the West. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's the East. <laughs> but uh, now all the, the only thing I need to fill is the West, and boy, uh, I guess they're my, my fuck division. So look, the West is the best teams colorado st louis yeah the, vegas yeah uh, that uh, i'm gonna make it even harder on you bill because i'm gonna pick the minnesota wild i think they might have the rookie of the year okay uh, yeah, it's a very good chance that i'm stuck picking like a team the that's awful the West. no rookies no talent <laughs> just like i have a filler team by the end of this we're all gonna have at least one team that is going to be dog shit. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I only picked the course. Wild are probably not even going to make the playoffs. I picked him for uh, Krill uh, Kaprizov. Uh, he is a stud and dominating right now oh, uh, at a point of game. Rookie. I'm banking on rookie of the year right there. All righty. Tony, the clock is on, on you right now. All right. I'm going to go with, because uh, I'm. <laughs> gotta pick someone in the <laughs> you sound oh like God. you're second guessing yourself Tony yeah I am immediately um, I picked stupid. somebody in the west I uh, don't you have a team from the west already you don't have a central either and that's tough because Carolina oh you have Dallas never mind yeah Boy, um, I'm fucked. <laughs> you know I'm gonna go with uh, 
I'm gonna go with the Flames. Uh, Calgary it. Flames. Oh, you ah. back. Um, <laughs> good choice. Okay. So, really, not much to say to, about, about them, but you know, isn't their goalie's really good, isn't he? Uh, I guess I I was never a fan of what's his face. I can't even think of his name right now. Like He's Bark- on Florida forever. Markstrom. Markstrom. Uh, Markstrom. Yeah, uh, he was, he sucked in Florida. And had like a really good season in Vancouver last year, and everyone thinks now he's a six million dollar goalie at thirty one years old. I don't get it. Alrighty, so it moves to me, and I've got a couple picks here. Hum hum hum. <laughs> well, hmm. now we're getting into the awkward territory. Um, I think I've got to spend one. I want to get my team in the north. I I. Or no, not the north. I'm sorry, the west. Or Bill, what are you gonna get in the west? Don't I guess I'll I'll take Winnipeg. Oh, but he went for the north. Oh. Well, he has two picks. Yeah. Yeah, and I did. I sorry, I meant the north when I said the west the first time. I you guess I'll take Winnipeg. I've got a fantastic goal differential right now of plus six <laughs> in five games. Woohoo! That's not bad. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I just wanted to – I was going to go with the Flames immediately, but, Tony, you got in my way. Good job. <laughs> and now uh, – you, you have one from every division. Look I do. at you. Now uh, you could go fucking wild. Yeah, it opens well, up. Oh, the wild was already picked. <laughs> yes, by me. Oh, man. I don't have a good playoff team. <laughs> Other than Colorado, you know, um, I'll take Columbus. I'll take the Blue Jackets. Uh, Blue Jackets, okay. Yeah. Uh, as Bill is screwed in the West, I am screwed in the Central. <laughs> All right, moves back to Tony. I just thought my strategy was straight up one team from each division right away. Yeah, same um, that's probably the smart way to do that. Yeah, I, uh, I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, maybe don't go spicy like I did. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna go Played it safe. Played it smart. I'm gonna go Vancouver ah. uh, with my pick. So there is one oh. team left. Does everyone have a Canadian team though? Yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. But I was gonna, I was gonna hold off on Central because they suck so bad and pick. Hey, Vancouver. you can still get the Senators, buddy. All right, Andy. You said fuck to Vancouver. Why is that? Do you think they're going to do better than their current? They, an- they have another good rookie uh, in, in Hollander. Uh, I think he's got a, a shot to, to do some damage for rookie of the year if Kaprizov gets hurt or something. Um, I think they're they're playing poorly now, but they're a top four team in that division, I think. Um, they're, uh, they have, uh, what's his name? Bo, Bo Horvat is towards the top of the leaderboards. And uh, Pedersen hasn't even got started this year yet. I uh, I like Vancouver a lot. I think. Okay. I should have probably picked them over the Islanders or Minnesota. What do you got, Dale? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> yeah, you got to come up with something. Oh, they got Quinn Hughes too. He he could. He's a fucking good defenseman. Ah, <laughs> oh, Tony, you're running the gambit on defensemen, young defensemen who could make a run at. Uh, uh, the uh, Norris with Hughes, Theodore is playing incredible. Oh boy, I don't know who to pick now. <laughs> I'll uh, go for someone in the West. I've got my West, and there is nothing in the West worth touching anymore. <laughs> oh, you already have your West. Yeah. I got oh, yours. yeah, that's right. Uh, but I don't have West, so I mean, yeah, I, I don't know who you're gonna pick. I'm not gonna. Anymore. I won't tell you who I would pick and why. Uh, so I want to okay. see where you go Please. with that. Oh, you're not going to tell me? No, 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 no. I'll tell you after your turn. Okay. Oh, all right. Uh, I gotta get a central team, I guess. Uh, I'll go Florida. Yuck. Ugh. I don't uh, have many good playoff teams, which could be a problem. <laughs> was that the Panthers? Yeah, they look good against the Hawks, but anyone but Detroit looks good against the Hawks. Okay. <laughs> All right, two for Bill. So, 
I'm left with a lot of scraps. So I have the West. I got to pick a team here in the West. Uh, I did like a color coding system. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> but I don't know why I have this team. This team I have slightly higher, but I don't know. I don't have a good feeling about them. I have an asterisk next to the Sharks. <laughs> so they really? have someone that might be in cont- in contention for uh, some sort of trophy. So I'm kind of stuck between the Coyotes and the Sharks. Okay. Were, well, uh, let me ask. Was one of those two who what you would have picked? Um, do you guys think I should tell them? Do you think I should Don't tell them. Just say if one of those two is... Yeah, I'm asking if I should even give you that much information. <laughs> I... I'll I'll say this. I'm definitely going to pick the coyote one of one of the coyotes or the sharks. I'm just curious as to see yes. if that's one. One of the teams I okay. what, those are one of the teams I would have picked. Uh, one of those two. It's probably <laughs> the coyotes, but I'm gonna go with the sharks. So it was the coyotes. Um, I'll tell ah. you. Uh, the reason why is because I like Jacob Chikrin uh, as an offensive defenseman who could probably win the no who. Could make a run at the Norris. Won't probably won't win it, but okay. That's why. Uh, no other reason. I think they suck. <laughs> okay. Well, hopefully the Sharks do something. Oh, they're in last right now. Yeah, I believe in them though. <laughs> you uh, yeah, I did not check the uh, actual current standings. Let me tell you this. thing about the Sharks, which is which is hilarious. Uh, so a couple of years ago, they were making a run at the Stanley Cup. And the Ottawa Senators were falling apart. So they go to Ottawa and they say, hey, Ottawa, we want your best defenseman at the time named Eric Carlson. Uh, And we are going to give you a first round pick next year. Cool. So San Jose gets Eric Carlson. Uh, He comes in. He he kind of flounders a little bit with a new system, but Sharks still make the playoffs, blah, blah, blah. The next year, San Jose is so horrible that Ottawa gets a second top five pick. Uh, and San Jose doesn't get that young, talented player on their roster. Uh, and they're bringing back pretty much the same team minus some actual talent. So they're even worse than last year. Okay. That was a good story. I hope um, you liked it. For, that's your draft pick. For, for my other pick, I'm going to go with the Rangers. Any reason? Uh, I had a lot of asterisks next to them for some reason. I think the Penguins are probably a better team. Um, or the Predators were also on my list here. <laughs> but I got to I gotta go with those asterisks. They um, mean points, possibly. So why Maybe. You, I don't know. Why you probably have asterisks is because they had the first overall pick in Alex okay. Lafreniere. So uh, he's not playing very well right now, but he, well, he's, the first, he's the first overall pick. He can turn it around. Always happens. Okay. Um, they have Artemi Panarin, who was in top three voting for rookie or for a player uh, MVP of the league last year. Okay. Um, They'd probably have to make the playoffs to. They also have another young defense. Way. They have another young rookie this year who's playing well in on defense called Keandre Miller. I don't think he's gonna well, make a run for rookie of the year, but. I had three asterisks, so maybe that was all those three guys. <laughs> um, could all it could also be that they might make the playoffs just because they've done a lot of retooling although they're not playing very well right now but oh and they have Georgia oh. the goalie young rookie okay. uh but he's also oh. kind of playing shaky right now well you're making me feel good at first and then you're like but it's pretty shaky so now I don't feel as good yeah, but they've uh, played those are my picks uh, yeah, I, I like your Rangers pick <laughs> I laugh at your uh, you. San Jose pick oh. uh, you know those sharks might come back and bite you they might go chomp no that's okay all right, Andy, back to you. I don't want to pick any more teams. Sorry. <laughs> oh. Is this your last pick? No, I have another one after oh. this. Oh, we have seven. Oh, shoot. Yeah, we got two more rounds. Who am I going to get stuck with? Oh, man. Oh. <laughs> hey, the coyotes are still there, Andy. You can make me eat my words. Uh, <laughs> uh, 
I will go with the Buffalo Sabres. Oh, you dog. Uh, I like oh. I like Jack Eichel. They got Taylor Hall. Um, that's it. You know, if it gets all the way back to me and no one's picked the Coyotes, I'll definitely pick them. Tony, do it right here. Ruin Bill's fucking day. No. I wonder if somebody's <laughs> going to pick my next Not a team. Chance. No. Um, I am going to pick uh, my sixth pick, uh, the Pittsburgh Stinsel? Penguins. Ew. Ew. Oh, good. He said it to you choice. and not me. Um, so I think that's a good choice. I mean, with what's well, left, yeah, for sure. What's left, yeah, 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 sure. With what's left, but boy, they traded Matt Murray away and we're banking on this Jari, and he is just not playing well. So, do you think the East are going to be the first division off the board? Uh, I mean, look, you got New Jersey, which you, I mean, Jack Hughes is playing well. Maybe Nico Heischer playing a decent two-way game. Or you just go with Ottawa and bank on Stutzel making a run at Rookie of the Year. Th- those are the two divisions with one team left. And uh, that's that's the reason you pick either of those two teams. All right. Well, I've got my last two. Um, God, I really – I don't. Ottawa and New Jersey. <laughs> um, you know, I'll go with New Jersey. Okay. All right. Is it for the uh, Hughes and Heischer? Yeah, what you said. <laughs> I like it. I, I, I like to be validated. Why not? Um, so the East was the first gone. I don't want to steal. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You can take the Coyotes. Take, I don't give a fuck. Take the Yotes. That's probably the best team available. Or the Preds. I was leaning towards the Predators. I think I'll go with them. I know they're not pretty, but... What's pretty at this point? Yeah, there's nothing left. Tony, Tony. It's going to be very Homer of me. Fuck! But that was my I'm, pick! <laughs> I am going to go with the Chicago Blackhawks because for one reason, lots we sooner. <laughs> we I was going to say, <laughs> lots of rookies. I think Kurashev had a sweet power move to the net today. They had a couple guys that could possibly challenge for that call of trophies. Hey, remember, if um, Taves comes back at any point, he's my winner for the Mastodon. That's true, too. And, and if Kane um, is playing with Suter, he could win any individual award he wants. Based on from what I've heard, is uh, I doubt Taves will be coming back. So, Yeah, well, that's uh, speculation. I don't buy into any speculation. Until I, it's, uh, yeah, that's speculation that I think we've heard is not great but uh, it's speculation at best yeah all right nice sneaky pick there from tony for your yeah, last asshole. one andy i almost picked him over buffalo even i probably should have but you know jack eichel taylor hall i like that combo i mean it is between arizona and ottawa i think what's left in the central uh yeah. red wings <laughs> okay <laughs> Oh, I had a feeling they would stay on the board. Uh, God, in the West, the there's three teams in the West. They're the worst division. Yeah. Oh no, the Central might be the worst, but they got a lot of young players who could win like individual awards. No, Arizona Coyotes probably winning an individual award. I'm they curious. might make the playoffs. Over who? Who are the top penalty uh, getters? Oh, shoot. Out of these teams or individuals on any of these teams? Any big fighters or That's such a annoying good, bitches? That's such a good question. Uh, who's left? Probably, Detroit? probably the Ducks. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Who's that? Who's on the Kings? Who's even on the Kings? LeBron. They sent all of their young kids to the minors so that all their good draft picks are still not on the team. So they still are just a bunch of old shitty players. Uh, Nicholas, oh, that was 2020. Never mind. Never mind. The Ducks led the uh, NHL in fighting majors last season. Oh, and had the individual... be a prop be- 
Should that be a prop bet? <laughs> most team of most fighting majors. I mean, I was just thinking that, that is. Part but of then it. you can't pick the ducks. We had it. Well, ducks are a way different team this year. Are you still have ducks? Gloria. No, I will not be picking the ducks. Uh, team with the most penalty minutes last year were the Montreal Canadiens and the Vancouver Canucks, uh, 116 and 109. St. Louis had a Those lot. Canadians? Mm-hmm. And Tony and Bill? Or, sorry, Tony and No, I don't, I don't have that. Oh, wait, that was... I have that, nice that's, Canadians. Sorry. Wait. 2019, 2019-2020, sorry. It was the Rangers with 781, Anaheim with oh. 725, Tampa Bay with 723, San Jose with 723 and Washington rounding out the, the top oh, five with 799 or 699. All right. Oh, I could run with Anaheim. Who is even on Anaheim this year? <laughs> God, I might use my full five minutes because I don't know who the fuck I don't have a We have a time limit? I didn't know that. <laughs> we made up a time limit and right now oh, because of right. me. <laughs> I, I, I just don't know who's on Anaheim. Like... Yeah, Getzlav is there. Neat. He's decrepit. Yeah, <laughs> neat. <laughs> Does Getzlav put up 15 goals a year anymore? That's a good question. I feel like you're asking yourself this question. <laughs> or maybe Oh, but they do have Max Comptos. I totally forgot he was a human. Mm. He's a duck. Ah. Ryan Kessler and David Backus as well. This would be a great team in 2011. Yeah, neither of them are going to be playing. Don't you worry. Boy. Uh. Who was getting all the penalties for the Ducks? Looking at this roster, it's a bunch of whips. But he's not with them anymore. He wasn't last year either. Oh, yes, he, I thought he, he is. No, he, was with, he, was with Dallas. he was with Dallas. He was with Dallas. And then this year he's with Montreal. Ugh. With Arizona. No, I'll go. I'll go. Hey. Mm. Cut out what are there. you doing? Uh, I will go with Arizona. I can't believe the Coyote might. Oh, they almost fell all the way back to me. I was between Not that I would have been the Ducks. That and excited Ottawa. about it. Hey, uh, I'm take Ducks now. No, I'm going to go with the Senators. Three Canadian teams. After saying he wasn't going to pick a single one. Yeah, I lied. Oh, I wanted to. So the three on the board that did not make a roster are the Red Wings, Ducks, and Kings. If one of those three teams win the Stanley Cup, I think we all, uh, I don't know. Live Malort testing. All right, that's fair. Uh, I will straight up tell you now, not a single one of those teams will even come close to a playoff position. Yeah. They're bad. That now, but the season is young. So let's uh, maybe go down the list and see what our team is. Well, uh, we, we have to come up with a team name for us? No, no. I meant like, I, I just, I don't remember. Oh, we, we wrote it down. So I could just yeah, I'm sharing it right now. Um. Yeah, uh, if everyone wants to rattle off their teams, Jerry. <laughs> sure. I've got Tampa Bay Lightning, the Philadelphia Flyers, the St. Louis Blues, the Winnipeg Jets, the Columbus Blue Jackets, the New Jersey Devils, and the Nashville Predators. And Tony? Um, I have the Vegas Golden Knights, Boston Bruins, Dallas Stars, Calgary Flames, Vancouver Canucks, Pittsburgh Penguins, and the Chicago Blackhawks. All right, Andy? I have the Colorado Avalanche, the Montreal Canadiens, New York Islanders, Minnesota Wild, Florida Panthers, uh, Buffalo Sabres, and Arizona Coyotes. All right, I really Bill. wish you guys didn't list all the city names because there's a chance I'll mess up. I got the Toronto Maple Leafs, the Edmonton Oilers, the Carolina Hurricanes, the Washington Capitals, the San Jose Sharks, New York Rangers and Ottawa Senators. Seven yeah. for seven. Um, hey, um, I, I, if I, if I had to guess with my limited hockey knowledge, I think Andy Jarrett came away with the best squad. Yeah, he's got know. three teams that could walk away with division wins. 
right up top there. Um, to, although Tony might have something to say about that in the West, Vegas, and me and with Colorado, but Vegas is looking pretty good right now. So, so what I hear is, Bill, you stupid fuck, you didn't pick anything, right? You got Toronto. Yeah. Carolina is a pretty good team. Washington. You got the Senators. best player in the world in Edmonton. Yeah. Yeah. Again, all, all we can do is, is wait, but I'm excited in a, you know, a month from now or so when we revisit this for a short little check-in to see if everything's as we predicted. I'm sure it won't be. I'm sure more people will get COVID. Teams will be behind. Dallas will have caught up at least a little bit to the number of games uh, as everybody else. And, and the Panthers. Yeah. Oh, the Panthers too? Yeah, they were supposed to play their first two games against Dallas. Both got postponed. Played the Hawks. Beat the Hawks twice. And then went to play Carolina, who also had a COVID outbreak. And both those games were canceled. Okay. So they got some some making up to do as well. There's at least a 10% chance that we don't even finish the season. No, 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 no. That, uh, that's not going to happen. No, 5% no. chance. You're limping to the finish line. The NHL won't, won't uh, give up if the NBA doesn't. That's true. It's a cute rivalry. <laughs> that's the best way to describe it. Cute. <laughs> cute. Yeah. All right, guys. Uh, anything else before we wrap this one up? I know we will post this on uh, you know, our, our bracket up social media and have little, you know, maybe occasional updates on there that coincide when we reach out and actually do uh, audio updates as well. Um, so yeah, any, um, anything else before we wrap this one up? I got one thing. It's more of a, sure. a small interjection. Just I felt a little bad, not because of you guys, it's all my fault, for our when we had our New Year's episodes. We did one episode where I had a guest for the president, and we I didn't give you guys his name so you guys could share his name. His name is Ben. He had the um, ticket that was Doom Guy and Carl from Aqua Team. Didn't win. I just wanted to make sure he got full credit that it was his idea. He is a lawyer. He threatened to sue. Uh, <laughs> and actually, he's a really big hockey fan, so it would have made a lot of sense to invite him to this, but I forgot. <laughs> Good work, Bill. <laughs> yep. All right. Well, credit has been given to Ben the lawyer. Now we won't be sued. No, yep. Thank goodness. <laughs> Phew. All right. For uh, the, the guy with the best name in the whole wide world, Andy Mysek. For Tony, Mr. Nugget Galski. <laughs> for Bill White Shoes Johnson. I'm handy dandy Andy Jarek. We hope you guys enjoyed our fantasy team hockey draft. And we will see you next time on Bracket Up. <laughs>